so today I'm in Koenji. Um, not necessarily looking for anything in particular, but just wanted to check out the vintage shops. And yeah, just kind of get a feel for it. I've been into clothes a lot lately, buying a lot, but you know, it's like sometimes you just want something a little bit more unique. So I mean, gonna look around, see what's here. Still kind of recovering from yesterday, uh, but gonna play it by ear and we'll see how it goes. I walked like 30,000 steps today. It's like insane. Um, all I've been doing today is walking, 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 walking. And I don't know, it wasn't like necessarily, you know, with a destination in mind. It wasn't necessarily to like buy something. It was just kind of aimless walking, which probably made it a little bit more tiring on my end, but uh, I don't know. I'm gonna get some sushi. Um, this is a really popular place, uh, so hopefully that will lift my mood up a little bit, give me energy to, I don't know, maybe do something for the night, or maybe just go to bed early, I don't know. I am number 322, and I'm basically third to the last table they accepted, so I think I got pretty lucky. train to Shibuya uh, to meet a random guy uh, that asked me out on a date. Uh, he works at a gay bar and he was going to a, I guess, gay event uh, that's being held in Shibuya and he invited me to come. I don't know anything about this guy. Uh, I am, as usual, sleep deprived. <sighs> First, yeah. <sighs> I'm a little nervous. Um, it's. I don't think it's anything like serious. Uh, it, you know, I, this is more of like a casual meeting. Um, we're just gonna. He's just gonna introduce me to. I don't know an event that's going on and I don't know I guess that's a date I don't know I don't know I'm not gonna think too much about it um, worst case scenario I can just grab a taxi and go back home uh, it is raining though so I don't know if that's a bad omen but you know it's my last day uh, it's my last night here so YOLO <laughs> okay it's raining I'm gonna go <laughs> I'll update you guys
that was not what I thought it was gonna be. Uh, basically, yeah, it was, I think he was like a club promoter, I don't know what he was, but he bought me a tequila shot and a beer and basically went on his way uh, to greet more people. Like, he seemed to know everyone, but, um, oh yeah, it was probably a mistake going today. I mean, I think yesterday I had fun because, you know, I had uh, one, people who were looking after me and I also had, you know, that security blanket. I didn't have to feel so insecure, but when you become single and you really put yourself out there and you're kind of left in the dust I don't know it just it's not a good feeling and you know I tried to enjoy myself you know I like the club itself was uh, pretty busy uh, it was a pretty cool facility And sure, there were some cute guys, but I think I just miss not being single. I don't miss him, it's just I think I miss the idea of him, you know, that comfort place where you know you don't have to be anything other than yourself, you know, and it's a hard thing to find. Um, someone who you can be that comfortable with. Uh, and the fact that I have to like start all over again from um, point zero It's tough. And I've just been so busy, keeping myself so busy to distract, um, distract myself from thinking about it too much. And you know, it's it works, but when you're really alone, it, it, it's not, you can be the most confident person in the world. You can be on top of the world career-wise. And yet when you're alone, you'll still be the same insecure person that has no idea what he's doing. I should probably get back. <laughs> uh, it's raining and I probably need to get some rest. <laughs> it's like, I think 4.30 a.m. So, I'm good. I really am. And I'm, I'm happy with where I am. It's just, I still have a long way to go. I'm gonna go home. Ask me how I'm doing. Yeah, I'm fine. Used to think I had control, suppressing all these feelings just to protect my heart. Past my limit, now I'm headed for